Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Halpern. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today I'm going to be going through uh, a very useful exercise called creating your own DTS or daily time schedule. A lot of people resist, uh, resist this and a lot of people tell me, well, I don't like to be so scheduled. The fact is, is when you schedule everything into your life, there is no room to feel guilty because you're not remembering everything. Most people I know try to remember everything, but just don't. And they end up forgetting half of what they want to do, and they have no time for themselves. The fact is, you spend so much time doing your laundry or groceries, or trying to do the small things, that there's no time for what you're supposed to be doing. Or that there's no time for the things that are the most important to you. And I call these big rocks. So if you haven't heard the big rock story, um, let me tell it to you. If a teacher stands in front of a class and says he's got a jar of rocks and there's all these giant big rocks and they go right up to the top. So the teacher looks at the class and says who here believes that this jar is full? And so everybody puts up their hand. The teacher says no. He pours in some pebbles right up to the top and then he says who thinks this is full? And everybody raises their hand. And then he says, nope, and he puts some sand over it, right up to the top. He says, now who says this is full? And everybody raises their hand. And he said, no, it's still not full. He takes out a jug of water and he puts the water over the, over the sand. And he said, now it's full. But you see, if we would have put the water or the sand in first, there would have been no room for the big rocks. And the big rocks are the things that are the most important to you. So if I ask people what their number one priority is, most people say their health, their kids, their family, uh, finances, you know, they list their top three. And then you look at their schedule. Their schedule has nothing to do with what their priorities are. They don't include anything for their health, anything for their entertainment. They don't spend enough time with their family and so on. So creating a daily time schedule is something that will free you up and allow you to live the life that you've always wanted to live. So basically, it's very simple. You create a schedule starting from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. And what you're going to do is plug in all of your priorities first. So number one priority, you have to sleep, you have to eat. Put all the sleeping and the eating in your schedule. You also want to, if, if health is your most important, I want you to put in your exercise time. I want you to put in uh, your chiropractic adjustments. I want you to put in um, any meditation or walks, anything that's really important to you. Then if one of your priorities is to spend time with your spouse or partner, put some time in. If you want to read, put that in. Once you've put all of your priorities in, then stick in grocery time, laundry time, okay, all of the extras. When you're done, you should have a document that has Monday through Sunday, every day of the week, that is completely filled with exactly what it is you want to get accomplished. Now, if you notice that you've put too much time in for, let's say, reading, but not enough time in for meditating, or not enough time in for entertainment, or listening to music, or writing in your journal, then you start to adapt it, and then you start to change it around until the document that you have left is what you would optimally like to see your life looking like. If you want to plug in free time, plug in free time. The idea is this doesn't have to look like anybody else's schedule, this is yours. It's your personal time schedule. But once you have that document, try to follow it. Now, nobody's going to follow it because obviously meetings and vacations and opportunities come up. You're never going to follow it 100%. But if you followed it 70, 80, 90%, some weeks you'll get to everything, some weeks you won't, the idea is to have a template so that you know that when you are washing the dishes, then you don't have to feel guilty because you're not spending time with your spouse or your kids. Or when you're exercising, you don't have to feel guilty that you're not grocery shopping. The idea is to get everything done in a way that you would want it done and then follow it as best as you can. If you need any help with that, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to help you with it. Look forward to seeing you next.